Well, hello there. I'm um, Brandon Garman. I'm here with the beautiful Bethany, and we're doing a painting with light. So, I have uh, this little bike reflector that I got, Schwinn Bike, got it from Walmart, just to reflect red and make flames and cool designs with it, hooked to a bungee cord, low budget, cheap, efficient, cool lighting. Uh, I have a uh, LED spotlight, handheld, at 300 lumens, and we're gonna use that to fill her in and freeze her in frame. Then I'll go around and make all the cool designs, but she'll stay in the same position so light doesn't look like it's going through her or anything. So just keep that in mind and we're gonna begin. Alrighty, Ed, hit it. Tank count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get the hand. Get the hand. And alright, pull away. And now I'm coming in with the bike reflector. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm gonna cut away. I'm cutting off the reflector so I can move around because I'm not being captured because there's no light on me. And now I'm gonna hold this here a little bit for a while on the hand until I make the red really intense and bright because it's making a longer exposure on the camera and turn makes that brighter and then we'll start doing some lines like fire some zigzags really slow make it really bright change the, intens the intensity of the flame and we stop there make sure you chop your light so you don't make a streak across and begin with the other hand again i'm just going to hold it for one two three four five slowly start moving it spinning it make a little tornado you know, there's no wrong way of doing this. It's just, you know, having fun. Do some streaks, like the flames just getting crazy. Alrighty. And I'm gonna cut the light and I'm gonna walk over. Just put some cool, like, red kicker. A little bit red, more, more stuff just to draw the eye, give it more depth. Always love kicker lighting, so I'll fill her in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. And it's important that when we're doing this part filling in, she doesn't move so that way we kind of get some of the still image. And that's it. And there you go. Turn the light back over here. And there you have it. Uh, capturing image and doing cool stuff. Painting with light portraiture. Thank you.